Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to start, stop, restart, reboot and view the status of BMC Discovery services from user interface and from command line. Let's start with user interface. Let's log into BMC Discovery Appliance with system user. For this demo, we have selected Discovery Appliance 12.1. Let's go to Administration. In the Appliance section, click on Control. Here you have the option for restarting appliance services. For some maintenance task, you may need to restart the appliance services, reboot the appliance or shut down the appliance. The first thing you can do is put the system into maintenance mode. What it does is that it will enter the system into maintenance mode when only those user who are permitted to access the user interface are the members of system group. All the other users will be logged off the appliance and the message is displayed that the system is now in maintenance mode. Now click on the button Restart Appliance Services. Say OK. You can see in the progress bar that one by one Discovery Appliance is shutting down all the services and it will automatically start all the services in the sequential order. Once the service restart is completed, the user interface login page will be back and now you can log in. Let's go back to administration, click on control and quit the maintenance mode. Another way to restart the appliance services is from the command line. Let's log into the discovery command line with the Tideway user. Here you can use the utility called as tw underscore service underscore control in order to start, stop, restart and view the status of BMC discovery services for standalone appliance. This particular utility will give you few options. The status option will give you the status of the discovery services. Stop option will stop the services of discovery one by one. Once your maintenance activities are complete, you can just use the start option to start the discovery services. You can also use TW service control service to restart individual service. For example, with restart option, you can stop and then start external API service. Similarly, in order to reboot the appliance from user interface, select the option Reboot Appliance and click on OK. On user interface, the progress bar will show you that it's rebooting the appliance and once the appliance is rebooted, you will be able to see the login page again. From the command line, you simply have to say sudo reboot and appliance will be rebooted. The user interface will show you that the appliances has been shut down and it's rebooting. Once the appliance is rebooted, you can see the login page. If your appliance is connected to the outpost and you need to restart the outpost services, then go to the server where outpost is installed. Open services.msc and here in the services, look for the BMC Discovery Outpost service. You can stop, start and restart the services. In order to restart the proxy services which are connected to your discovery appliance, go to the server where proxy manager is installed. Select the service. Here you can select the proxy and start, stop and restart its services. You can also select the proxy, click on view, open service control manager which will directly open the services user interface. Here you can select the proxy and from here you can also start, stop and restart the proxy services. In addition to all of that, in CentOS 7, the only services that will require to use system level commands to control them are cluster, omni names, appliance and occasionally HTTPD service. Let's take a look at those. In CentOS 7, there is a particular order to follow to stop all the services of Discovery Appliance. 
the first one is TW service control stop. For next command in this list, you need to use sudo systemctl stop and cluster. The next service to stop is omni names. The last service to stop is appliance. In rare cases, a process may be stuck or not end cleanly. In order to check this, run the command ps-af pipe and then grep python. If any services are running, you need to kill them with the option kill-9 and the pid. If there are no such services stuck, then let's go ahead and start the services one by one. You need to follow a particular order over here. So the first service to start is sudo systemctl start appliance. The next service to start is omni names. Next service to start is cluster. And the last service to start is the discovery application services with TW service control start command. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.